Hello everyone, this is Updaters TV and I just I want to say that Nigeria right now is at a place in its history like we've never seen before. The elections for the presidency and of course for states is up next year 2023. This is July 2022 right now and there is political awareness there's political consciousness in Nigerians like we've never seen before. You know, before now, the average Nigerian had believed that um, it was a lost cause. Politics was a lost cause. The career politicians had hijacked everything and there was no hope. That's why you have the, 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 the common desire among people, especially young people, to travel out of the country for greener pastures. People gave up on Nigerian politics. They, everyone concluded that Nigerian politics will always be corrupt. The politicians will always be selfish. Anybody going into politics would always go into politics to loot resources, to embezzle money to enrich themselves and maybe their families and possibly their close communities. That was what Nigerian politics was known for by the generality of Nigerians. And they would say politics is a dirty game. The people that get involved in politics have no good intention. Sometimes some people even get to the point of saying that people that get involved in that even have a, a, a good intention, you want to go into politics with a good intention, by the time you're in, you become what you're trying to correct. You know, and we've seen it in many people, you know, they they wanted to go get into politics and you believe they had good intentions to change lives, to do something good for the for the country for their state for their constituency and then they get into politics and there is no change they seem to become the evil they were trying to heal they seem to become the political sickness they were trying to heal they seem to be infested with the political disease or infected with the political disease they were trying to heal for the nation or for their constituency so um, Nigerians had a like a dicical attitude toward politics D during uh, election cycles. A, most people would a lot of people wouldn't vote, and actually I could say most people because the the number of votes is the ratio of the number of pe people that vote to the number of people that are eligible to vote is quite is quite um, wide. It's a wide ratio. People don't want to vote, and then the politicians already have all always known that there is political apathy on the part of the general generality of Nigerians, and they have capitalized on that for a long time. But things are different now. There is a new awakening. There is new hope, hope like we've never seen in Nigerians for a very long time. People are awake now. People want to go get their PVC. The PVC is personal voters voters card. is is an ID card that is required right, for you to be able to vote in Nigeria. You know the the drive to get your PVC is at an all time high in Nigeria right now, such that the INEC. In, in independent national electoral commission says they are overwhelmed by the demand for pvcs they don't have the structure to service the need and the quest for pvcs amongst nigerians and this movement this new awakening is driven by youths never before have you had practically all the celebrities the musicians the comedians the you know and entertainers actors and so forth they are endorsing one person right now as of june 20 22 
the political awakening seems to be in the direction of Peter Obi. That's the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. The Labour Party is before now was a minor was a minority party in Nigeria or was a small party. The major parties in Nigeria were the, the APC, which is the ruling party, and the PDP, which is the main opposition party. You were thought to be to have to be in one of these parties to have any shot at the presidency. All right. It was previously held or believed that for you to have any shot whatsoever at the presidency, you had to be a candidate, the flag bearer for either the APC or the PDP. If you were not the candidate for any of these two top parties, your political ambition would be seen as a joke or you just want you have some other purpose for contesting for running for president other than win and of course you know that of course you know that it is possible to run for president without intending to win it's done all over the world maybe the person running wants to give it a try a few times and then maybe by the fourth or fifth time he, the popularity would have built and then he will really believe he has a shot by then. There are other reasons, people just want to do it to gain political uh, capital for some other reason, to gain popularity for some reason and so forth. But if you, were, if you would be seen to have a shot at the presidency, you had to be the candidate for either the APC or the PDP. But now, Peter Obi, of course he was previously a member of the PDP, he decamped from the PDP, he resigned from the PDP and joined the Labour Party and he emerged as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and he has gained a lot of attention. People are talking about his record as a past governor of Anambra State, he was a governor for two terms, that is eight years, four years and four years eight years and it is said that he was a very productive and conscientious and responsible and effective governor like none other his record as a governor of Anambra states is what his supporters are citing and this has sparked up hope in many young people people everywhere on social media are talking about there is hope for Nigeria it will be for president now in the meantime or at the same time the uh, presidential candidate for the APC is Bola Ahmed Tinobu who has been a political father a godfather um, for years he's also a past governor of Lagos State two terms who has anointed all the successors after he left office all the successors that um, became governor in Lagos State, Fashola, Ambode, and now Sawolu. They have all been anointed by him, and he has also influenced politics in other southwestern states. He has he, he has um, a lot of respect politically. He's he's respected in the political space. He has strong connections and strong influence in politics and he helped President Buhari win the presidency at the last elections in 2019. So he's a, pre he's a presidential candidate for the APC. The presidential candidate for the PDP is Atiku Abubakar. He is a past vice president of Nigeria. He was a vice president under President Olusegun Obasanjo. President Obasanjo is the first president of Nigeria when Nigeria became a democracy in 1999. And Atiku Abubakar was his vice president for two terms. And Atiku Abubakar has run for president five times. And the last two times that he ran for president, he was a major contender. 
even though he lost, he was the major contender that came second place. He ran against President Buhari in 2019, and the previous election in 2015, he also ran against President Buhari.